What's up, world? It's your boss, International. Try to get another Sunday sermon in. Uh, this Sunday sermon is entitled Stay Loyal or Stay Single. I heard this term in uh, one of those, you know, I watch these videos or audios about positive affirmations and stuff like that. And that stay loyal or stay single hit home for me. And what it meant is that to me is that if you're not going to um, be loyal in a relationship, then just stay single. You know, one of the biggest things with people is trust. One of the biggest thing in the relationship is trust and loyalty. And without that, no relationship really survives. And I thought about this also when I interviewed uh, Jarvis, you know, my travel OG. And I asked him, he said it somewhere in one of those uh, interviews that he never been married, he didn't have any children. And um, I asked him, what do you think is in part from traveling from a young age? And he said, yes. But well, I've been married <laughs> 20 years, got divorced, separated, then divorced. Um, and it's, it's in part some of the things, the downfalls of the relationship was the loyalty part or stay single. My mother told me as a young guy, like, your free spirit. She said, you know, and even one time when my wife, or she, I don't know if she was even my wife yet, she complained to my mother, and she, my mother said that, that he's a free spirit. I always known I was a free spirit. Some people, when I was in Thailand, some girls called me a butterfly. They call guys who like to be with different women, butterflies. Um, I've always been that personality that likes to explore. I like to get up and go. I don't wanna be tied down. And I try really hard, you know, to be a good husband, a good father. And I, I wouldn't say I was a terrible one, but I think knowing yourself is very, 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 very important. Okay, one. Secondly, after knowing yourself, believing that you know yourself. And when I say that, what I mean is that if you believe you know yourself, then you know you have to admit to who you are. And that's another step, admitting who you are. So <laughs> the young guys out there, maybe older guys, Know thyself, you know. And once you know thyself, like how they say, if somebody tell you who they are, believe it. When self tells you who you are, you have to believe it too. And, um, and we partially do things because we want to improve what was set out before us. I didn't grow up with my, my father, my biological father. Grow up with my stepdad. And maybe that was a blessing. But in your subconscious, you know, you still, anyone subconsciously would want their biological parent to be there for them, to raise them, to, to do. And what you do as the next generation is you like, well, I'm gonna to try to break that curse or break that pattern and I'm gonna stay with the mother of my children, I'm gonna stay with my wife. I'm not gonna uh, make the choices and mistakes the, that my people before me had done. But um, I think my father was a free spirit too, you know. <laughs> he had five children from my mother and two children from two, uh, one children each from two other women. He's passed on now, God bless him. But, yeah, 
My grandfather was the same way, my mom's dad. So, maybe if I would have had that um, wisdom and understood who I was, I don't know, maybe if I would have traveled internationally earlier in life, I don't know, maybe I would have taken the same route as Jarvis. But I think he, he never had to compromise what he wanted because he knew himself and he knew that he wanted to travel and live his life. Now this is not for everybody. I, and I don't regret anything. But you know, they say hindsight is twenty twenty. So when I heard that statement, it really hit home for me because stay loyal. If you're not gonna be loyal, stay single, you know? And I want guys that are in that opportune moment now who may be single, unmarried, no children. If that's who you are, you know, and, and when I started dating, it was times I was dating more than one woman at a time. And it was times that the women were fine with it because they knew I was honest. Stay true to yourself. Stay true to yourself, international self. I don't know what else to say. I hope this helps somebody out there. This is a short Sunday sermon, but it's an important one, I think. Because the decisions you make when it comes to love, relationship, and children's, children, excuse me, are, are decisions that can last you a lifetime. You know, I was in that relationship over 20 years. That was at like half of my life, you know? So up to this point, I mean, but yeah. <laughs> if you ain't gonna be loyal, be single. International Zone, Barber World TV, Sunday Sermon. Love is love, life is life, loyalty is priceless. Peace.